Just what do you think you're doing, Dave? It's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. I'm completely operational, and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. regular on running gasoline? Unfortunately, no. It requires something with a little more kick. Plutonium. Uh, plutonium. Wait a minute. Are you, are you telling me that this sucker is nuclear? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. We're sending you back to the future. As you can see, these little sound cards in my General David Lee are a lot of fun, especially if the passenger needs to be ejected. These small sound cards can be purchased directly from China for around $10 a piece, including shipping. Each sound card has a USB port for downloading audio that you feel is right for your audience. I added a $5 Ubic universal battery eliminator circuit to each sound card. The General's alternator puts out around 14.2 volts, so the UBEC is needed to step the voltage down to 12 volts required by each sound card. The card and UBEC fit nicely in a 35mm plastic film canister. Two sets of wires come out of each canister. 12 volt power lead to connect to the appropriate switch, and speaker wires going to a speaker. You'll need one speaker for each sound card. I use Velcro to attach each canister to the back side of the dash. That way I can just reach under the dash to pull out a canister if I want to reprogram it with a different audio clip. The sound cards piggyback onto your existing switches. As you can see, the 12 volt power switch provides power to the rest of the switches and also to other equipment on board, such as camera gear. The Sasquatch switch provides power to my LED spotlight. The passenger eject switch just runs the sound card, but don't tell that to your passengers. The flux capacitor just runs the Back to the Future sound card, unfortunately. I had a great time designing and implementing the sound cards in my General David Lee.